Smith. I'm 20 years old and I'm originally from Wimbledon. Uh, I'm doing zoology with herpetology and I'm in my second year. Uh, it started that Bangor is the only place which does my degree in, uh, well, in the whole of Europe and possibly the world, but uh, it's actually it looked like a really nice place to come to anyway. I'm doing herpetology and that means the study of reptiles and amphibians uh, and in that I specialize in snakes. Um, kind of all kinds of snakes, whether they're venomous or not. I haven't done too much work with venomous snakes yet, but it's kind of a plan for me in the future. Uh, but currently I keep, well, I don't know how many snakes, but I, I've kept loads over the years. I've, I think I've got a collection of about 10 animals at the moment, uh, between like snakes and lizards and uh, some invertebrates. So uh, we have some really good uh, world-renowned um, lecturers and doc doctors in these areas. Uh, who have like, get lots of stuff published and are really important in uh, kind of in medical biology and just general uh, phylo genetic stuff, which is actually really cool and they're nice, uh, which helps. So, yeah, there's lots of opportunities to get out and about um, and do some practical work with reptiles whilst in Bangor, uh, even locally because uh, it's one of the few places where you get like most of the native reptiles and amphibians. You have the option in your second year to go on a field trip and uh, the herpetology based one is to Arizona. I literally just got back from that a couple of months ago and it was really, like, it was amazing. We were out every day for I think two weeks looking for reptiles and amphibians. The rattlesnakes are amazing. Like we got experience, like a little bit of experience handling them and it, like, it was just a genuinely really good educational but also a really fun like, trip. Yeah, I'm part of uh, quite a few clubs and societies, but um, so there's a lot of educational, like course-based ones in Bangor, and the one which I'm part of is the Herpetology Society. And here we have like weekly talks on uh, different scientific kind of areas where we get guest speakers in. Uh, and there's also chances for us then to go herping around in this area and just kind of exchanging stuff between each other. My main club uh, is uh, the Canoe Club, which is almost well, this hoodie, because um, I'm on the committee for the Canoe Club. Uh, we go like kayaking as much as, as we can. We, we specialize in whitewater kayaking, but um, we do all sorts. We do a little bit of flat water, a little bit of sea, but um, definitely white water is um, the, the best thing, it's, it's the most fun, it's the most adrenaline thrilling, it's, it, it, uh, it's amazing. Like, I hadn't done much, in, or really any, until I'd come to uni, and now a year and a half down the road, I'm like really improved. And this is one of the things which like clubs and societies that you do, like get you to try something which you haven't done necessarily loads before, and like you can actually get pretty good at them. What's good about Bangor is, well, firstly, just being out in the outdoors. It's like very few unis are this close to the mountains and the sea because you can see them both from like campus. It's just generally people are really nice around here because it's such a, a small city, one of the smallest cities in like the country. Uh, everyone knows each other. You can walk like just into town, and uh, there's I've never not seen somebody I know. So it's just really friendly in that respect. Yeah. When I leave Bangor, which I don't know how long I'll stay for, but uh, I'll miss it definitely quite a lot because it's been, like, I'm already halfway through my time uh, at the moment and the outdoors played a major part of it and all the people has made the biggest part itself. 